board hat, top and swing into the side. Stay down, do not get on the stage. Get off the stage, please. Get off the stage. I can tell when a man has COVID, I can see it in their car heart. I saw it in his car heart and I'll see it on the way out. Do you call your kids a cracker when you go to a ghetto store? Okay, everybody in here, take a moment to feel uncomfortable with that. Watch yourself up there. What's that? Okay. I mean, that's a weird heckle, because it's a, I mean, I'm not gonna argue with it. Yeah, those are my initials. Oh, yeah. Cracker, some guy said cracker over here. You ever been called a cracker? Yeah. You know what? I've, I've gone into like restaurants. And, like, hold on, hold on. Please, make sure that you're giving us the whole story, okay? <laughs> Don't give us the fucking cliff notes. Don't rush through this moment. I asked you a question, I want to know the background. I want to know where this stuff happened. I want to know where you used to work. What was the job before you worked at the restaurant? Because how did that job lead you to the job where you had the situation that I was asking about? I do not want a simple yes or no. A lot of comedians come up here and they say, have you ever been called a cracker? And they expect the guy to say yes or no, but not me. I want the guy to do what you did, which is launch into some like short novel, autobiographical thing. Like, actually, I used to work in a restaurant. What I would do is every time I'd come in, you know, it's about five years back. Originally, originally I'm from Michigan, but one of the things, so what did you say? You were in a militia and what? No, so you were called a cracker? No, actually, I call my kids a cracker when I go to like a, a ghetto store. So you call your kids a cracker when you go to a ghetto store? Okay, everybody in here, take a moment to feel uncomfortable with that. And then let's take the next moment to understand why minorities hate us, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is a ghetto store? Do you go there to buy ghetto things? And why are you in a ghetto store? with your kids. They have the best fried chicken. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I, I never, I've never done all this ethnic material in front of an actual live living racist. Have you guys ever seen one in the wild? You know, you rarely see them where they're just openly and you know it. I feel like we're in a nature document. If we see him over there, he's in his, uh, his golfing cap, salt and pepper, receding hairline. This one must be in his 40s, mid 40s. He's holding the hand of the woman he's with because the second he lets her go, she'll find something better. <laughs> right now he's ordering a chocolate milkshake, but he asked for it using different words. Uh, there's this really funny black comic in, uh, oh, you'll like this one. Uh, <laughs> just, I love though that it's unapologetic, you know what I mean? There's no party in this, and what's great, and this is one of the things I love about whites, is what's great is it's not only him that is sort of flagrantly talking about black people and ghetto stores and all this stuff. He's calling his kids cracker and having a fun time with them laughing. So he's not gonna deprive the next generation of those values. So what we want is we want fathers like you to have children and be like, get out of here, cracker, and bring a fried chicken to <laughs> Because then those kids will grow up and make it awkward at comedy shows. And then <laughs> comedians, generations to come, will be like, Ugh. I have to ask you to leave. <laughs> How old are your kids? Uh, oldest is 24, youngest is 14. Oldest is 24? You've got a 24 year old that you take shopping and you're like, come on, cracker. And he's like, dad, stop making me shop with you. 
I fucking graduated college, okay? It's not funny when you call me a cracker. You just said, welcome to the ghetto when we got into the store. And this isn't even good fried chicken, okay? Why don't we go to Colonel Sanders? And then he's like, oh, I love that guy. He's a racist. <laughs> Call back to the first comedian. <laughs> Dawson, goddammit, I apologize for what I did. I'd like to take a shot with you. Come on up here, you crazy son of a gun. You guitar heart wearing, skateboard hat, topping, swing into the side. Stay down. Do not get on the stage. Get off the stage, please. Get off the stage. I can tell when a man has COVID, I can see it in their car heart. I saw it in his car heart and I'll see it on the way out. Here, this is for you. Dawson, I want to tell you something. One of these is the best scotch in the house. The other is partly petrified, dyed horse urine. Do you want to take mine or would you like to take the one I gave you? You're gonna stick with yours. I like it, a man who drinks his own horse piss. Not bad, not bad. I'll take it for you, thanks, Dawson. Sit down and find a different general aesthetic for your look. Um, you can only assistant manage a skate shop for so long. Watch yourself up there. What's that? Okay. I mean, that's a weird heckle, because it's a, I mean, I'm not going to argue with it. Yeah, those are my initials. What's your, what? Mine too. It's yours also. Okay. <laughs> Is that why you're here? <laughs> Uh, what if it was? What was he doing? He's just like, all right, I got to tell him at some point. So I'm going to let him get out his fucking riffs about the day and all that shit. But if he starts talking about our kids, I'm going to let him know. I'm gonna let him know you think Boston's different. But we're, we have more in common than you think. <laughs> you make fun of the Boston Commons? You look at me, you're looking in the mirror, TJ. <laughs> M. Do you hear that fucking guy? He's laughing harder at this situation than all of you. Which means he goes home and he's like, fucking nailed it. <laughs> yes! I fucking knew it. That's why, that's why they call me Tujum. Because I walk in and BAM! That was great, thanks, good to meet you, I guess. What does yours stand for? What does your TJM stand for? No, oh, it's like, and he's gone. That was, that's all he came to do, I said that. <laughs> Nailed it, he just walks out. What does it really stand for? No. Nope. Oh, I'm sorry, did I go too far? <laughs> what is it, uh, what's it stand for? And then that's the last we'll talk, but. Um, Tim Joseph Martinez. Tim Joseph Martinez? I think you're lying about one of those names. <laughs> Can you guess which one it is? <laughs> I eat good, but really. <laughs> <laughs>